Some of you may have been wearing your Apple Watch for years, or maybe you recently picked one up on sale. Changing a few settings can give you a better experience and make a big difference in your watch's use. In this video, I'll walk you through some of these helpful settings. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Most of these features and settings will be available on any of the current Apple Watch series. But if you find that yours isn't working, it could be that your Apple Watch is a little too old. Widgets were introduced in watchOS 10, making it easier to see information without jumping between apps. You can customize your widgets so that they show only relevant information. To edit and customize your widgets, you'll want to swipe up from the bottom of the Apple Watch to come into the widget stack. And now if you press and hold on the screen, you'll come into the uh, edit mode. And at the top, you'll see an empty widget with a plus sign. If I tap on that, I can add a new widget. And so I can scroll through to see which widgets I want to add. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the calendar widget. I have three options to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and just tap on this. And once I do, you'll see that that has been added to the widget stack. If I want to remove a widget, I just tap on the minus sign and it'll automatically disappear. If I want to pin a widget so that I always see that particular widget at the top of the stack, you're going to tap on the pinned icon on the right hand side and you'll see that it says pinned and now I'll tap on done and now that particular widget will always remain at the top of the screen. So that's how to edit and customize widgets. If you have an Apple Watch Series 4 or newer with watchOS 9 or newer, you can use low power mode. Low power mode preserves battery life by turning off the always on display, limiting specific sensors, and disabling features like irregular heart rhythm notifications. To turn this on, you'll wanna open the settings app. And to do that, I'll push on the digital crown. You'll wanna locate the settings app, and I'll tap on that. Scroll and locate battery. You'll see that my watch has 55% left. If I scroll, you'll see lower pow low power mode. Go ahead and toggle that switch on, and it'll give you a little bit of a description of what happens when you do this. But this feature, if you're running low on battery life on your watch, turn this feature on. WatchOS 7 allowed us to change our activity goals for standing and exercising. Previously, you could only change your move goal. Now, you can change exercise and standing to what fits your actual daily routine. To change these goals, you're going to tap on the fitness app. Scroll to the option that you want to change. So if I want to change my move goal, I can tap on the plus or minus sign there. I can increase it. And when I'm done, I can tap on set. You can scroll to the next and change that as well if you'd like. So now you have three different options that you're able to change inside the fitness app. Do you find yourself taking random screenshots with your Apple Watch? I often do it when I'm exercising because the buttons to pause are the same as when you take a screenshot. The screenshot is you press the digital crown and the side button at the same time. If you want to turn off the ability to take screenshots, it's easy to do. I'm going to push on the digital crown to come into the apps, I'm going to locate the settings app. 
I'm going to tap on general. I'm going to scroll down until I see screenshots, tap on that, and then I'm going to toggle off that switch to enable screenshots. And now if you're exercising and you want to pause your exercise, you won't be taking random screenshots. If you find that your Apple Watch goes idle more quickly than you'd like, it could be while looking at the weather app for too long or using a timer. If you want to extend your Apple Watch's wake time, you'll want to again come into the settings app. So I'll push the digital crown. I'll locate the settings app. I'll scroll down until I see display and brightness. Now I'm going to scroll down to where it says wake duration, tap on that. And as you can see, I have mine set up for 70 seconds. The default I believe is 15. So if you want to keep your watch awake longer, check off that wake for 70 seconds. If you want to stop apps from automatically installing because they clutter your Apple grid and add way too many apps, what you should know is that the default is to install any Apple Watch app counterpart onto the watch. But if you want to stop that from happening, all we need to do is come back into the settings app, locate settings, tap on the app store and disable this automatic download. Once you've toggled that off, now you can choose when you want to install any app that you've downloaded. Reading texts and notifications on a small screen can be difficult. Just like on the iPhone, you can increase the font size on the Apple Watch to make it easier. So again, we need to come into the settings app. We're going to go ahead and tap on display and brightness, tap on text size, and here you'll have the option to tap on the double A's to either enlarge the texts or to turn the text down a little bit smaller. You can edit the control center on the uh, Apple Watch the default settings may not be the best fit for how you use your Apple Watch. And so you can rearrange the control center to your liking. To launch the control center, you're going to use the side button. So I'm going to push that one time. That brings us into the control center. I'll scroll down to the bottom and I'll tap on edit. And here you'll see the apps that you have installed. So if you want to delete one, you can go ahead and just tap on the minus and that will remove it. You can rearrange these apps in the order that you want to see them by pushing and holding and then dragging them to the order that you want. So you can maneuver those around so that it best fits your use of your Apple Watch. I'll go ahead and I'll add AirPlay back in. And then once I'm finished rearranging, I can go ahead and tap on done. Passcodes can be a pain. An easier way to unlock your iPhone is using your Apple Watch. And to do this, you'll want to set up some settings inside of the settings app on your iPhone. I'm going to open the settings app. I'm going to locate a uh, I'm going to be on the main settings page, locate face ID and passcode, enter your passcode, scroll down towards the bottom, and you'll see an option to unlock with Apple Watch. Make sure that that toggle is on. And once you unlock your Apple Watch, your iPhone will be unlocked as well. There are many features worth checking out on the Apple Watch. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.